this is Seth and Pookie from Kicking Up a Notch, and we're here at Escape of Skate Shop with Dan. Uh, Dan's the owner, and it's locally based here in Kansas City. Uh, so we just wanted to sit down with him right before Sneak Fest. He's going to be there, right? Yep. With a table, uh, selling some shoes and some other things, some escapist apparel, I'm sure. Uh, we just want to sit down and talk to him a little bit about some of the skate shoes that have recently become more popular and get kind of the history of the, the store. So you want to give us a little background about sure. yourself and the store? Um, yeah. Um, like you said, my name is Dan. I'm one of the co-owners of Escapist here in Kansas City. Uh, we opened the shop in May of 2000. Um, I worked at a few other shops before that. Been skateboarding for, I don't know, what, 27 years now. So yeah, just some friends and I decided to open open the shop and slowly been growing over the years and it's basically the gist of it right, right now it is what it is yeah it's uh, pretty nice too you got yeah I mean you've opened multiple stores you've been yeah. successful yeah obviously been trying to open multiple stores and it scales back to one right then we then we forget that it's harder to do more and we open more and then we scale back again. <laughs> it's all right. trial and error huh yeah yeah okay so uh, my first question is obviously um, Nike SB is been pretty hot lately. Um, but it's become more popular. I mean, some people like myself have been down for a while. Okay. I like to brag about it, but uh, <laughs> it's obviously popular now. So let's talk about um, what are your thoughts on like the last, especially this year. Um, we've had you know New Year's dunks. Um, well, even going back to last year, you had Potoski and you had the 112. Um, more popular releases. This year. Huh. Was this year. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, earlier this year. Okay. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, Chinese New Year, um, obviously the Tiffany Dunks, um, the Jordan collab that just happened. What's your thought? Uh, have you seen, what's the difference between years ago and now as far as uh, how you hold releases and, and stuff like that? Is it kind of crazy to you? Because I know as a run the skate shop, you never see anything like that. Right. And it's kind of like, what? Where I mean, all these we've people been carrying doing SB since 06. And right. Up until the Concord, we never had a line whatsoever. Right, right. And, you know, they, we, we got quick strikes that whole time. And people would kind of come in randomly like, oh, man, I can't believe this is still sitting here. Right. And it's like we just didn't really have that, you know, crowd too much. Right. And you and a few other people knew about right, it. Right, right, right. But, yeah, it's definitely, ever since the Concord, been growing a lot. Right. And this year has been really strong. I mean, I, I honestly think... It's been like every two weeks there's been a quick strike. So right, yeah. I don't know what Nike, they just sat down and decided, all right, we're just going to like hit it this yeah, whole year or what the deal is. But, yeah, it's been cool. And then how, uh, one more question. How hard was it to get Nike whenever you got it? I mean, I know around here, I don't even know if you're competing with you yeah, know, the skate shop. Yeah, there was one here. other store that had an account. Um, they were in Overland Park, and we, at the time we were up in Metro North, so... Mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty large so gap. Cool with you. Yeah. yeah. So it wasn't hard then? I, I, no. I hear a lot of people talking about how hard it is to get into the Nike thing. I don't know how different Nike SB is, you know, from you know their basketball or their training line or anything like that. But, yeah. So it's pretty easy just because yeah, of mean, what you were selling and where you were By that time, we were a pretty established shop, so they had actually come to us a few times. And so, yeah, I mean, it wasn't hard at all, really. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I know that a lot of times... From what I've heard, you know, they want want you to be in business for two years, mm -hmm. carrying other shoe brands prior to them opening you. They want to see photos of the shop, etc. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we didn't really have to play that game. I mean, yeah, because you're ready to do it early. Yeah, too, and it's so yeah, it was early, and I mean, it's kind of one of the benefits of being in the Midwest. Everything is such on a smaller scale, mm -hmm. so it's kind of mm -hmm. easier to get your foot in the door. Sometimes, right, right. You know? Okay. It sounds a lot different than other Nike accounts. Yeah, exactly. Basketball is. Nearly impossible. Yeah, right. I'm sure that's right. just insane. Yeah. Actually, skateboarding is so much smaller. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, big enough, enough, man. it's pretty big. It's, it's getting big. It's taking off. Uh, I, yeah, like you said, a lot of quick strikes have been coming out more frequently. And I kind of wrote an article about that on the website uh, like six months ago that Nike was really trying to pinpoint where they could find growth, and Action Sports was one of the ones. So I, I saw this coming, but I didn't think it would be on a scale. That we, I mean, that you've seen, right? Like with the Tiffany's or the line for the Concords already. So. Yeah, I mean, 
quick strikes, I mean, as you know, it's so hit or miss on whether they're good or not, but yeah. they've definitely been on a roll this year. You know? Yeah, and I mean, a lot of the, I'm, have you seen a lot of new people that you hadn't seen before? Yeah. I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, especially with that Tiffany release. I mean, it was kind of a bummer because the line started, what, over 24 hours before the yeah, dude, that had yeah. to blow your mind. Yeah. And <laughs> I like, mean, I've known you for a long time. time. And, and seeing that, you had to be. It was six degrees back. outside. Like, what yeah, is he Some people don't care, man. Yeah. It, yeah. But it was kind of a bummer because I definitely noticed there were so many first time people that never stepped foot in the shop before. Mm -hmm. None of the regulars, like you guys, mm -hmm. I mean, you guys work jobs. You can't be out yeah, there. Yeah, on a Thursday? Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> on Thursday so evening? It was yeah. kind of a bummer that, you know, it was way overhyped and. You know, not the regulars got a bear, but right. that's what it is. We we tried to do the whole yeah, raffle thing. Yeah, yeah, the so raffle thing was awesome. Awesome. To, to the people. Yeah, how'd that come up? You know, what, I mean, which we've talked about on yeah, videos before. Yeah, I mean, basically, we just wanted to have a way to take care of the regular customers somewhat. Right. Which so we raffled we off the first five spots in line. So to enter the raffle, they had to email a copy of a receipt of a Nike SB shoe purchase. Stipulations, but I think it was this year. Or yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. Yep. So, at least some people that have shopped here before got a pair, but right, they couldn't wait two days before right. in line. I mean, there was definitely the first kid in line. I heard got paid to, to sit in line, stand in line. Yeah, see, yeah, yeah. Just resell our stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, it's definitely been kind of insane. Right. <laughs> I, I like. I like. I mean, some people would be like, I don't care. I, from an owner standpoint, like I don't care because I'm making them. You know, I'm selling them anyway. So yeah. I like that you took the time to. Figure out a way when you got people lined up on Thursday to actually take care of people. That yeah, could I mean, be there, like you, you said. Guys I, been, I like that. You know, at a time when we weren't really even selling SBs that well, I mean, you guys were there. So. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, I just I wanted to bring that up because the quality of a Nike SB is so much better. Talk about it over than and over. A Nike basketball shoe. I mean, there aren't glue marks all over the shoe. It's the Nike SB tag isn't upside down. Wow. Yeah, just yeah, dumb <laughs> stuff. You know. Yeah. And that, that's something that I talk about a lot and why, along with the, the concept and the people that sell them that I know, that's why I respect them and, and rather buy that over a lot of stuff out there. Yeah, so I'm just wondering if the, the hyped releases like the Tiffany and the quality of the Nike SBs that people are buying are going to continue to grow with those first timers coming back because they see the quality of the shoe. That's, I see that happening. Like they're like, oh man. Nike SB. Yeah, it really is that. weird. And there was definitely thing. a few people in line that were getting kind of coached. It was their first uh, <laughs> first sneaker purchase. Yeah. And, you know, their buddies had brought them along, probably initially to try to get an extra pair or whatever. Right. But, yeah. Just one. You know, I, I definitely heard one guy like, "This is your first sneaker purchase. How's it feel?" You know. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It is funny. But yeah, I don't know if if they'll be regulars or not. I mean, it's hard to say. It'll be good for you. Right. Yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> heck yeah. Especially if you continue to have something where if you buy the sh a recent shoe, then you get the get op right. opportunity to come to the round. And I think that's what we're going to continue to roll it as, I like you it. know, when it, on the larger releases like yeah. the Jordan, we did raffle only because it kind of just gets out of hand. I mean, yeah, you, yeah, you don't, don't want to right. Yeah. You don't want to deal with that. Yeah, you don't want people because I've seen it before. You go down that. House of Hoops on the plaza here, and people leave trash. Right. And stuff. I mean, I've told you about it before because, you know, I want to pre-warn you because <clears throat> I know you don't know like what's going on. But I'm like, it happens. you know, you get people with fights. You have the chance for just a bad name on your shop as well. Right. People getting robbed. You know what I mean? Just right. stuff like that. So I do. Yeah. That's I mean, definitely the, the better way. You don't want to mess with the that landlord's stuff. next door, and I don't want to bump <clears> him out because there's a bunch of people lurking in front of his spot. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. They leave trash, and yeah. I, it, it's just the way it is, unfortunately. Um, that we can't have people that act like they're adults. Right. I mean, yeah, we are buying shoes. I mean, I'm not saying that's an adult <laughs> thing, you know what I mean? But, yeah, you know, act responsible about it. Silly. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And to, and to trash a, a storefront that you're actually buying it from, giving them a bad name is, is Yeah, you terrible. should have some respect for where you're... you're so let's talk about what, what, what else other... What do actual... Do skaters, uh, real skaters, like yourself, think <laughs> about this? Do they care? Um, I mean, it just I, I, depends. You know what I mean about, about the SBs? Yeah. I mean, there's plenty of people that actually skate that do also collect sneakers. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, they're up here trying to get them just like you guys, you know? Right. But on the flip side, there's some people that 
you know, probably don't even know what's going on or care. Right, yeah, they just know? want to come in and get right. a pair of at knees or you whatever know, and, yeah. and out the and door. A lot of times those are people that also are just buying anything on clearance, you know. Like, right, just something to get right. to go skate so, or Yeah, because they tear up so whatever. fast, like, you don't want to spend 95 100, right. whatever. What, what do you shoes? think? What's the best quality skate shoe that you? I mean, you carry a lot of brands here. I mean, you yeah. know, I see you know Vans or DCs I or Adidas or Adidas New Balance. What 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 to you? What's uh? Man, it's hard to say. I mean, obviously Adidas are built really well. Okay. But it varies a lot, just depending on styles within each brand. You know, because a lot of times they'll put rubber underneath the outer material that way when you blow through the outer material there's yeah, rubber underneath something back up. sometimes there's rubber on the outside i mean <clears throat> so Adidas anything is, like that is pretty good yeah i mean again like. it depends on the shoe i mean some of them are bulkier than others and will last longer okay and on, on the flip side people, some people don't like bulky shoes they want a super thin vulcanized sole you know maximum board feel mm -hmm. and they just like that low profile feel and they don't want this big bulky thing on their foot obviously those aren't going to last as long right, so right. <clears throat> and same thing with nike i mean they have the stefan it's super mm -hmm. low profile slim but it actually lasts pretty decently for yeah. nothing yeah i know you buy some tenacity mm -hmm. and i've seen one of your feet before so yeah <clears throat> yeah i was going to ask that like the tenacity compared to the cost and compared to the the dunk <clears throat> obviously the dunk sells the best for us, I mean, but for skaters of Nike, does that translate into the best skate shoe or yeah, the what, most their, purchased skate shoe by actual skater? I would say the Janoski probably sells the most really? as far as with skateboarders. I mean, like I said, that that look is kind of in fashion right now. Right. That's you know, true. Partially so because of the Janoski, but I mean, it's loosely based off of, you know, I mean, it could look like a Vans Chukka a little bit, but obviously. Mm -hmm kind of transformed worn to a boat shoe look and yeah. that kind of just sparked this whole thing and now the whole industry is trying to chase that and have their own version of the Janoski <laughs> and you know the sometimes they sell okay but it's just one of those lucky things where I mean, no one knew that was going to sell like that you know yeah like the floral Janoski yeah that like all that stuff super. but I don't know as far as durability obviously the thicker the shoe is going to, it's going to last longer so the dunk would last longer in theory than a Janoski but it just depends also on how you skate mm -hmm. and if you sit there and do flip tricks all day and you got the upper part of the shoe flicking the grip tape I mean it's gonna wear out quicker than someone that you know doesn't do as many flip tricks or skates bowls only or you know something like that yeah I have no idea about any of that but I can, <laughs> no, I can tell like, you I you're passionate about it. Yeah, that's, that's, what like, that's awesome yeah. Yeah, so why wouldn't you want to buy from someone that knows <laughs> what, what he's talking about? I saw some tricks this morning, too. <clears throat> yeah, man, was go check out. Yeah. If it was blowing the rest off, at, I go look at was blowing. Dan Askew on Instagram and watch this guy do some moves every yeah, once in a while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Old timer. It's all right. It's still fun. That's all right, yeah. Yeah, man. yeah that's, that's, what, that's what's I mean, awesome I can't about imagine it. not doing it. It's, it's okay, so now fun. let's... Um, okay, now I know Nike doesn't like doing shops they're cutting down on the phone orders and yep. because i know you probably get people calling crazy for certain releases yeah for sure um, we are in kansas city we, so right like people new calling. york will sell out right. and i'm sure you get calls totally right and so was, so at can concord we, i think it was the concord might have been a different one but anyway we had like legitimate skateboard customers in here we couldn't even run a credit card because the phone was like yeah, you got one call, you got other calls trying to beep in. Right, and you're trying to run a You cars. hang it up, it rings immediately, like, it was insane. Yeah. And, and yeah, like, they've been definitely cracking down, we've been getting a lot of emails, you know, no phone orders. They're, from what I understand, shrinking their authorized online dealers as well. Okay. Yet, at the same time, broadening their distribution, so it doesn't really make sense to me, because now they're in shops that aren't skate shops they used to only be in skate shops yeah, right. yeah it's those foot action right i mean as we know so, foot action's doing i don't know what the, the logic there is i mean it seems like they're just trying to make all the money they could so now is that why, why i care about phone orders to the actual skate shops right you know? right but whatever is that something just on release like can you do a phone order two weeks out for some valentine I mean, or a month maybe out? it's I think that's just one of those gray areas. Okay. I mean, they're I not, they're not going to officially say, yes, you can do that. Mm -hmm. But I think on the down low, if you need to move old inventory, they're not going to 
you know, shut your account. Okay. I was just wondering just to let people know maybe because, I mean, I mean, there isn't a rule, so I don't even know myself, but I just kind of get like hints of what the rep says, you know? Right. I just see a lot of stuff here. That's why I'm asking that people. Uh, I know a oh, lot yeah. of people would black buy books. it. Hey, you got you black history books. Got Valentine. Right. You still got a firecracker. Yeah, dunk firecracker. Up there. Tauskis. Yeah, you got Tosis. You got some two floral Janowski prints here. So yeah. that's why I was just wondering. Yeah. That, um, if they move it here, do, like the first floral was skate shops only. The yeah, camo. Yeah. The, yeah. Uh -huh. And then now, like you said, they're in foot action, etc. And yeah. So you go to Pack Sun, you get the floral Janowski. So. That's why they're still sitting right, there, because yeah. you can get them everywhere. But yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, I just see a lot of uh, uh, lows up here. Well, you got the butt heads over there, and yep. uh, even the yeah, the snake eyes, yeah, the black cashew must, the rain dumps. Yeah, I was going to say, you still have rain. So, I was just wondering from that. Civilis. Uh, yeah, yeah Civilis, which was I really awesome like that Civilis. Yes. But yeah, that's why I, would just, I just wanted to, you know, don't want to get you in trouble, obviously, but people can do some forms. Right. These are obviously some older releases. Yeah, stuff. I mean, a lot of times, I mean, for instance, like the Firecracker, there's only one size. Right, yeah, but still, you still have it. I mean, that, yeah. even though that wasn't the, the red one, the, right. the quick, quick strike. The yeah. Hyper strike. Hyper strike. Yeah, hyper strike. <laughs> but, it's okay, so I just want to... Quicker strike. <laughs> <laughs> it's the quickest strike. I just wanted to give, <laughs> I just wanted to give people a... You know, if they say, you know, you say no phone orders, no one's mad at you. It's almost like a, a legal thing to... Yeah, I mean, keep, keep that's definitely what they tell us. To, to understand you know? it, right, yeah. Because you obviously don't want to get in trouble. That, and like, I mean, release day, you have a line of people and can't exactly sit there and take a phone order. Yeah, and, no. Yeah. And basically cut in front of all those people mm -hmm. who have been waiting. You right. Know? Not to mention it takes time, you know? Mm hmm. So. Yeah, you want to take care of the guy who's right in front of you. Right. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah, coming into your shop, actually, yeah. Unless it was me and calling from out of town. I did, I'm not there, man. <laughs> Anything else, man? Um, yeah, I did. Just want to talk about some of the ordering. Like, how far out do you have to order things, or do they just send you things <clears throat> that you don't even know are coming at times? That's how quick strikes are. Like, we don't see that stuff in advance. Mm -hmm. It just shows up. Just shows I up. I mean, a lot of times we'll get an email on larger releases, like this style number. They don't even say what it is. It's like this style number is on the way to your shop. You have to Google it yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, what is that? It, has a, it has a hard release date of this. Don't sell it before that. 8 a.m., whatever. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's how quick strikes are. But general releases, basically, there's buying seasons throughout the year. Um, for instance, January, we did all the buying for fall, which would be considered July, August. Or is it June, July, August? I can't remember. But anyway. There's like three month periods that you basically book six months in advance. Six for the, months for the general order release, ahead. yeah. And that way they get all their orders and they have an, a gauge on how many to make. Because I definitely have seen a huge shift, and this is especially like this with vans. If you don't pre book it, you can't order it. Really? I mean, people come in here, oh, I, I, have, I like this shoe, can you get it in an eight and a half? And van, I'll call vans like, um, no availability on that until, you know, four or five months from now, which is insane. Because right. vans, especially when it's a standard shoe, mm -hmm. like an Aeron or Authentic, mm -hmm. or some staple shoe that they always have, you'd think that they would stock it. That would be nuts, to, yeah, half a year to get it. Yeah. Kind of I mean, no one wants to wait like right. that. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if it's summertime and they want to slip on. Yeah, something you just want to skate. You can't yeah, get it until, skate too, you know, October. That's just it's silly. It's not going to work. But, but definitely Nike's like that. I mean, you know, say there's kind of a more popular general release and some, we're trying to get a 12 or something. Like, sorry, like we had to order that six months ago, you know? Really? But sometimes they'll have them. It's weird. So it's hit or miss. Hit or miss. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is there a certain number of general releases that you have to order in order to maintain Not really. a strike? I mean, it used to be like that. Mm -hmm. That was kind of more before we had our account. I mean, that's one of the reasons why we didn't do it initially, because we just seen so many shops get buried. And, you know, they owe Nike 20 grand for all these shoes that are sitting in their inventory still just so they could get these few hot releases. And yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just not worth it. Yeah, definitely. But they kind of changed that, like, kind of right around or right before we opened our account. So. Cool. All right, I think before, okay, so are we going to talk about maybe doing... A collab. That's my question. <laughs> you've had you've had a store 
with a Nike account since 2005 or 2006. Me, so. I know we've been talking about it kind of under the rug and a couple other of your uh, yeah. uh, people that I know that shop here as well. It'd had. be fun for sure. I mean, our rep has yeah. mentioned stuff and we talked to him about it. I mean, is that something, I mean, I think that's something we might yeah. uh, roll the Escape ball, get it going. Fun. Yeah, I mean, if we submit it, obviously it's upon their approval, but right. yeah. you know, it would definitely be fun to do something that's tied into the city. And, yeah, just submit it to them and see. I know we've been talking about barbecue wise or something with uh, maybe the water, the fountains or something like yeah, that. Yeah, there's something a lot of things we can go, do for sure. Yeah, yeah. we can go Chiefs Royals with it. Yep. Okay, I just wanted to see if maybe <laughs> that was something that was could yeah, be a we possibility. Gotta, we got to stay in your ear about this. <laughs> yeah, we need one. Start mocking some stuff up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, is that all we got? I mean, do you want no, anything no, else? No, Danny, no, got anything no, to say? Anything? I think so. Nothing? Okay. <laughs> well, like I said, he's going to be at uh, Sneak Fest next week at Municipal Auditorium. I'm sure you're going to bring down some, some SBs and some other stuff. Yeah. Um, so make sure you be sure to check him out. And me and Seth will also be there as well. I do have one thing. Yeah, go ahead. Do you own any Nike SBs? And if so, what's your favorite? Yeah, what do you got? Like, like uh, you got have, any old school ones? I don't. You don't, I don't have, like, skunks laying around? I don't Just, have like, any of that stuff. Pairs? I have, I've had uh, Stefan's, and that's it. Really? Yeah, and I skated them. <laughs> hey, so no old dunk. I, I do get I, right. No, not really. Just laying around the house. No, I don't I remember all that. What about the? Do you still have the cat? Uh, the SB? The I do actually. Because it was up at the up north shop, and I tried yeah. to get what was his name, Jason? <laughs> Who was up there? Uh, Matt. Matt. Yeah, I tried to get him. I was like, dude, come on, I need him. And yeah. I was just wondering if he had it. Okay, we'll talk about that later. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so anyways, yeah, he'll one be of them a broke. The one that went to the Oakland yeah. Park store, I think, a guy yeah, I think broken. Oh, man, that's, that's a bummer. <laughs> yeah, that thing is sweet, though. Yeah, it was cool. He hung out in the shop for a long time. Yeah, yeah, I remember he used to always be at the up north, and every time yeah. I go, I'm like, man, I need that one day. Yeah. I, I, I it's, sure. it's packed up with the, all the north store stuff right now. Okay, <laughs> well, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, so... Saturday, Sneak Fest, Municipal Auditorium. Yeah, and you guys, are, you guys are at Escapist on Instagram. At Escapist Escape. Escape on Escape Escape on Instagram. Escape Escape on Instagram. And, Twitter, and we're on Facebook as well. And then uh, Escapist Skateboarding. Yep. com. Correct. Yeah, to go out there and you can look at hours. Sometimes you post stuff about releases on your blog. About, yep. like, if you're going to do a raffle or something right. like that. So if you guys locally need information because we're not doing all that out of town stuff. Because he ain't getting in trouble. <laughs> no, nope. we're going to take care of the people in the Kansas City area. So definitely uh, check him out. This is a cool dude. I, I've been messing with you for a long time, back in the Zoom tray, oh, yeah. AB, yep. which Nike, you need to bring back. Well, I don't know if you're ever going to watch this, but yes. SB, I need some Zoom tray ADs um, stat. I think that's what got me started. And yeah, I think From there, so. we just went to dunks. You were like one of the only people that bought it. Yeah, yeah <laughs> which is probably <laughs> actually about this. That's why they started doing it, but man, that's a dope shit. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, uh, man. Thanks, thanks, guys, for checking out the video. Be sure to like and subscribe and visit us at kickingupanachi.com. See you guys.